हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल दृष्टि आई एस इंग्लिश इन दिस टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट प्राइमर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी प्रेसिंग इशू विच नॉट ओनली इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एनवायरमेंटल प्रस्पेक्टिव बट इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम दी आर प्लान बायोडाइवर्सिटी व्यू द टाइटल ऑफ आर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज सेव द सुंदर बन इन दिस डिस्कशन वी विल बी स्टडिंग अबाउट द सुंदर बन डेल्टा वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू सी द मैन ग्रोव और द मैन ग्रोव फॉरेस्ट we are also going to see the impact of climate change on sundarbans we are also going to analyze its preservation efforts we are also going to see some of its key challenges in the preservation of the sundarban delta we are also going to see the mission mangrove and in the end we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination so if i talk about the background of our today's discussion we are losing our mangrove forests at an unprecedented rate and the time is right that we need to take some positive actions towards its preservation so with this let us discuss our sundarban delta so if i talk about our sundarban delta which is there in india as well as in bangladesh it is the world's largest mangrove forest and this mangrove forest or the mangrove is locally known as the sundri tree sundri tree so it is the world's largest mangrove forest and it is the only mangrove forest that is inhabited by tigers so the, the sundarban is a delta formed by three main rivers and that is the ganges brahmaputra and meghna rivers and it is a very large delta formed by these three rivers it is a unesco world heritage site and it has also been declared as or designated as a biosphere reserve by unesco in 2001 so if i talk about india the sundarban delta is a home to very large flora and fauna very rare species are also find found there and some of the important species that are found in the sundarbans mangrove forests include the royal bengal tiger the gangetic dolphins the olive ridley turtles etc so it is a home to a very wide variety or a very large variety of flora and fauna but what is happening with the sundarbans delta it is facing a worst impact of climate change due to climate change what is happening is the sea levels are rising they are rising at the rate of 3 mm per year so with this rise in sea level what is happening is the space is shrinking in sundarbans delta and with the ocean swallowing up land in the world's largest mangrove forest humans and tigers are being squeezed into an ever shrinking space in the indian sundarbans with deadly consequences so what is happening is the sundarbans keeps remains constantly flooded due to the rise in the sea levels and that is why the space is shrinking and we need to preserve our indian sundarban delta now i have mentioned that sundarbans are the world's largest mangrove forest so what are these mangroves let us examine so if i talk about the mangroves they are the plant communities occurring in intertidal zones kindly note this that they occur in the intertidal zones as they can be it can be asked in your prelims examination along the coasts of tropical and subtropical countries and they are the lungs of our planet they have very excellent carbon absorbing capacity mangroves absorb almost uh, double the capacity of carbon as compared to a regular forest and they also have this unique uh, survival capacity in the high tides that they reduce the waves of tides high waves of tides and that is why they are very important they are the earth's nursery they are very important to us and that is why i am talking about we need to take a action positive action to protect them and if i talk about the location of mangroves in india they are found in uh, west bengal and it has the highest percentage of area under total mangrove cover followed by gujarat and andaman and nicobar islands and who declares the status of mangroves in india or the forest coverage of mangroves in india it is declared by the india state of forest reports and it gives the data about the mangroves and their conditions in the country and as per this report of 
only 0.15 percent of area is left of the mangrove forests in India. So just imagine only 0.1 percentage of area is covered by the mangrove forest and that is why I am reiterating that there is a immediate need to preserve this mangrove forests. So what are the impacts of climate change on Sundarban Delta? Let us examine. So apart from the human animal conflict faced by the population dependent on the forest resources for their livelihood, the region is living under the threat of another reality, climate change. So I was explaining to you this before also due to climate change what is happening. There is a rise in sea levels and this rise in sea levels constantly increases the cyclones in the mangrove forest and it is also increasing the flooding of the mangrove forest and these Sundaban deltas have been badly impacted by the cyclone Amphan. Cyclone Amphan in 2020. So the frequency of cyclones in the uh, Sundarban deltas has increased due to the impact of climate change and rising sea levels. As Sundarbans is a low-lying region and extremely prone to cyclones, climate change significantly impacts the region's flora, fauna and its population. Definitely, if the, there will be frequent cyclones, if there will be free, frequent flooding, then what will happen is the flora, fauna and the wide flora, fauna, including the Royal Bengal tigers and uh, some important species such as the dolphins of the Ganges. Everyone will be impacted and the human settlements in the Sundarbans will also be impacted. So, this was all the impacts of climate change on the Sundarban Delta. So, if I talk about the increase in cyclones in this uh, Sundarban Deltas, there has been a recorded increase in the intensity of cyclonic storms hitting the Sundarbans between 1951 to 2010. And the latest one, the cyclone Amphan came in 2020 and it badly impacted the Sundarban Delta. Then restricted fresh water supply due to human interference. Humans are interfering almost everywhere and that is why we need to reduce the human interference in the Sundarban Delta because it is causing a bad impact on the Sundarban Delta and has it has caused further loss in the biodiversity of the region. Why? You see the, uh, the humans which are uh, living in the proximity of the Sundarban Deltas, they are extremely dependent on the forest for their livelihood and they exploit the natural resources and that is why this human inter intervention has also caused a loss of biodiversity in the Sundarban Delta. Sea levels are rising, this is what I was explaining to you before also that due to this rise in sea levels, there is a increased cyclone frequency and uh, shrinking of space in the Sundarban Deltas. Now, let us examine the need to preserve the Sundarbans Delta. So, conservation in efforts in India was stepped up with the creation of Sundarbans Tiger Reserve in 1973. Kindly remember that Sundarbans Tiger Reserve is a very important tiger reserve because it is home to the Royal Bengal Tiger. Then Sundarbans National Park is, was established in 1984. And it constitutes a core region within the Tiger Reserve. It was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. This is what I, the point I was mentioning in my introduction that Sundarbans Tiger Reserve is a, or the Sundarbans Delta is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And it was declared as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. Then Sundarban Wetland, India was recognized as the wetland of international importance. Just imagine not only the in no local community is worried, not only the local government is worried, but also the international uh, organizations are also worried about its conservation and preservation and that is why they have also recognized its importance and they have declared as uh, it adds the Westland of international importance under the Ramsar Convention in January 2019. So, the Sundarbans preservation efforts are uh, taken both by the local government and the international community as well. They have declared it as a Ramsar site, wetland of international importance, UNESCO heritage site and also they have protected it as a biosphere reserve. 
So these are the preservation efforts we are taking to preserve the natural mangrove forest uh, or the world's largest mangrove forest. Now let us understand the key challenges in its preservation. See, preservation efforts are going on by both international and local uh, government. But they, what are the challenges they are facing in the preservation of Sundarbans Delta? So, the first challenge they are facing is vulnerability to climate change. Sundarban Delta is quite vulnerable to climate change. As I was explaining to you before also that it is a low-lying region. And that is why the rise in sea levels, uh, what happens is it uh, washes away it coastline. So, this co supposedly this is the coastline and it is being washed away or it is being shrinking like washed away. This coastline is being washed away by the rise in sea levels. And then what is happening is exploitation of natural resources. Human interventions, humans are everywhere and whenever there are human and wherever there are humans, they will exploit the natural resources. This is a trend. Alarming trend, but this is a trend. What happens is the humans around the Sundarbans Delta are largely dependent on it or they are largely dependent on the forest resources. Why? Because they are poor and unemployed. They do not have any source of other livelihood. So, they depend largely on the forest resources for their sustainable livelihood and that is why they are exploiting the uh, Sundarbans Delta or the wood forests of the mangrove. Then there is human wildlife conflict. So, what is happening is the humans are living in the close uh, proximity of the mangrove forest. So, they are very prone to biohazards such as tiger attacks, such as snake bites and that is why there is a human uh, uh, wildlife conflict as well. The, there has been an increased number of tiger attacks to the human population living in the proximity of the Sundarbans Delta. Then human activities as I was explaining to you before also wherever there will be humans they will exploit the national natural resources and that is why human activities also form the cause of in the uh, challenge in the preservation of the Sundarbans Delta because human activities damage the Sundarbans Delta. So these were all of the key issues in the preservation of the or the key challenges in the preservations of the Sundarbans Delta. Now, let us analyze what is Mission Mangrove that is developed, developed by the Indian government. So, as I was explaining to you in before also that in 2020, the Sundarbans Delta got impacted by the Cyclone Amphan. And after Cyclone Amphan, they, they realized that the mangroves are very effective in avoiding the imp severe impacts of the cyclone. So, to mangrove mission was to conceive for eco restoration of the area and also to protect the city of Kolkata from the wrath of cyclonic storms. So, this mission uh, mangrove was uh, aimed to save the uh, West Bengal or the city of Kolkata in West Bengal from the severe impacts of cyclonic storms by preserving the mangrove forests around the city of Kolkata. The South 24 Parganas District Administration began a robust planning effectively to implement the initiative of Mission Mangroves. So, I was explaining this before also that the people who are living around or in close proximity with the Sundarbans Delta, they are poor and unemployed. So, what this Mission Mangrove is doing, it is engaging the local communities in the preservation of the Sundarban Delta. It is increasing the local participation and the entire program was undertaken by the district Manrega cell and administration of South 24 Parganas and implemented by the forest department involving local communities, especially women. So, they are educating the local communities, especially women that okay, see that the mangrove forests are important for you if you want to avoid the intensity of cyclonic storms, intensity of the tidal waves, they are very important. So, by engaging the local community, so they are also given a chance to work and preserve the mangrove forest. They are given employment and opportunity under the Manrega. This has generated income for them as they are being employed under the Manrega, MG Narega. So, MG Narega scheme is a uh, rural employment scheme and it gives employment in the rural areas and uh, 
uh, as these people are poor and unemployed, they were made to increase their participation in the conservation of the mangrove forest and they were educated about their importance in uh, preventing the frequent cyclonic storms. And they have, by this, they have also been given employment opportunity and this also in turn increases their income. So, what will happen is they will stop being so dependent on the Sundarban Delta. They will also find some another ways of uh, employment and they will also stop uh, exploiting the uh, natural resource of Sundarban's Delta to a great extent. So, you will give them employment, you will educate them about the preservation and hence you are targeting two problems at a time. That uh, Mission Mangrove is targeting two problems at a time. The, uh, you know, depletion of the Sundarbans Delta, the human activity depletion that is going on. The, we were discussing the key challenge, challenge in the uh, preservation of Sundarban Delta is also human activities or the human uh, exploitation of the natural resources. So, by giving them employment and by preserving the mangrove, uh, involving them in preservation of the Sundarbans Delta, it is tackling two problems at a time. So, this was all about the mission mangrove. With this, we come to our conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen the Sundarban Delta. We have also understood what are mangroves. We have also seen that why there is a need to preserve the Sundarban Delta and the impacts of climate change on the Sundarban Delta. Sundarban Delta is the world's largest mangrove forest and uh, it is the only mangrove forest that is inhabited by the tigers known as Royal Bengal Tigers. So, we really need to push our actions. We really need to have some proactive steps in preserving the Sundarbans Delta. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your prelims examination. So, the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number one is mangroves can survive in high temperature area. Your statement number two is mangroves can be found in Gujarat. Which of the following statements given above is our correct? Your Options are option A is only one, option B is only two, option C is both one and two and option D is none of the above. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now, let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So, the question is explain the reasons for decline of mangrove forest and discuss their significance in the preservation of coastal ecology. So, we will firstly discuss the Sundarbans delta and the mangrove forest. You will is, uh, write about the challenges that they are facing, climate change impact every uh, and other such challenges, challenges due to human interventions as well. So, you will write all of these points which I have explained in my discussion today. You will also write that there is a need to preserve the mangrove forests that they are depleting at a unprecedented rate and this is not good for India as well as for the world. You will also write about mission mangrove and you will also write about the preservation efforts that they have been declared as the biosphere reserve, um, uh, wetlands of international importance, Ramsar sites, they have inclu been included in all of these things and they are also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, you will also write about uh, all of these preservation efforts and you will also write that they are the lungs of our planet, they are uh, helpful in absorbing the carbon effectively and that is why there is a need to preserve the mangrove forest for maintaining the coastal ecosystem. So, you, you can conclude by writing all of these points. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding the session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you like the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.